Hey guys, welcome back. This is the lecture number 70 from our bootcamp series. In the last lecture, we discussed about Rails routing. In this lecture, we're going to discuss about member and collection routing in Rails. So both member and collection routings are used frequently in Rails application. But before trying them, we should understand that what are the member and collection routes. Okay, so a member route is a route which requires the ID of the resource to perform an action. Okay, for example, in our students controller, we have actions like show, edit, update and destroy and all these actions or all these four actions require the ID of the student or require to face the data a student from the database first before serving the request. Okay, that's why show, edit, update and destroy can be known as the member action. Okay. On the other hand, the collection routes are the routes which does not require the ID of the resource okay like index action create action and new action we can consider them as collection methods or collection actions why because we do not require ID of the student or ID of the resource uh, before serving these requests okay so similarly we can define our custom member and collection routes as well in the rails application okay so we will try to implement that how we can do that so let's open your routes file here in routes you can define your member actions like uh, for a resource let's say students do and okay and in this block you can define your member action okay let's say member do and you can write your member action here and the way of defining member action is just like uh, defining a custom route so first you need to define a type of the request and type could be anything like get patch post delete okay now i'm just adding here an example let's say personal details okay now and you can define other way of member action as well like uh, get personal details on member okay so both ways will work as a member action so you can use either this way okay uh, or either this way okay but this way with on option only works fine when or only preferable when you have or you are clear that you need only one member action for a resource but if you are not clear and you might need multiple uh, member actions for a resource then you must use this the block syntax okay and similarly you can define the collection action as well or collection routes as well so then you need to do collection do and the way of defining the method is same just like uh, the way of defining a route is the same as the member action so here you can define get active okay so here we have defined a member route and a collection route for the student record okay now let's save this and look at the routes of the students so open your terminal and run the command let's say rails routes here you can see that uh, i have a command uh, i have a route let's say personal details or personal details student okay and this requires the id students slash id and then slash personal details so this is a member action why because it requires the id of the student and here you can see a collection method that is active students okay and it requires only slash students slash active but this is a type of get method and it is a collection method it does not require any id however our personal details is also get type of method okay now with this you can work on some collection of the students and with this you can only display the personal details of the student or whatever the operation you want to perform there you can uh, display that data or you can perform that operation okay so this is how we can use member and collection routing here you need to notice one thing that 
just like member action you can use the collection at method with on option as well uh, like this let's say uh, get active here you can use it like this as well on okay both will work fine but you need to note one thing here that if you do not provide these member or collection options then by default your request will be member action okay or your route will be member action if you do not provide member or collection explicitly for example if you define your routes like this resources students do get personal details okay then your route would be like if you now display the student routes then you will see the same member action or member route but here the is difference is that in the first request you are getting when you use member block you are getting id here okay which is the same as show and edit and destroy and delete uh, sorry delete and update routes here you will see the student id and the path name will be changed what you we are seeing here with member block that personal detail student path and what you will get without member option that uh, student then personal details okay so this option will require the id as student underscore id and prefix the student to the member action or the member route name okay so it will give you student then personal details path and accept student underscore id as parameter but if you use this you will get students a personal detail students path and it requires id as argument okay and collection method will work like uh, method uh, your action name and then your resource name okay but just make sure that whenever you define a member action or collection action if you do not provide these blocks then your route always treated as member action okay so this is all about all basic about the member and collection action we will implement them practically and we will create members and we will create the templates and actions inside the controller for member and collection routes uh, later in the coming videos okay when we work with uh, admin dashboard and uh, other features in our course project okay but if you want to practice it at more uh, at your end more you can try this at your end and you can display uh, you can implement a personal details method inside the students controller and there you can add a template and then you can try to display your, the data personal details of the students like uh, its uh, address date of birth and permanent and uh, alternate contact number and so on and the age as well okay and for the active student you can do like uh, you can add any status attribute inside the student table where you can ask for the active and non-active students and make it boolean false okay so it will display only active students who are active okay so this is what uh, you can do and i have also published a detailed video with example on member and collection routes as well that you can find on my channel you can find this channel here at my channel with name member and collection routes in ruby on rails okay so here i have provided a detailed explanation with a practical example of uh, uh, implementing member and collection methods in a controller and renting template for that okay so just practice that and let me know if you have any doubt okay so that's all from this video and we will meet in another lecture with name space and scoped routing okay Till then, tata, goodbye, take care, stay safe.